is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to part two of our special Butterscotch.com 10 part series on Evernote. So with Evernote downloaded and installed on your desktop, open it up, click Tools, sign in. Now if you've already created your free Evernote account on their website, you can just proceed to sign in. And if not, you can create your free account right from here. But I've got my information typed in, so I'll say OK. Here's a default welcome note. Now the foundation of Evernote is notebooks. And you can use notebooks to separate your information into different categories. You can have as many notebooks as you want. So to create a new notebook, I'll click File, New, and Notebook. That wants me to give it a name, so I'm going to say Carving. You can see here I have the option to have this notebook either synchronized or local only. Now if I have it synchronized, then the information I type in will be available on my desktop, from a website, from my mobile phone, and so on. If I say local only, the information will only be on this computer. And you can have a mix of notebooks, if you like, of synchronized and local only, totally your choice. I have all of mine synchronized. Now here you have the option to make this the default notebook. Now because you can send information to Evernote from email and other sources, the default notebook is the notebook that accepts that information. So if I wanted carving to be the default notebook, I would just check this. And then I can say publish this notebook. Now if I say that, it's going to put it on the web. And you'll notice that if I checked local only, those options aren't there. So you're pretty much safeguarded from that. So there's carving. I can put in a description. I can have it sort my notes by the creation date or the modification date. And I can have newest first or oldest first. Click OK. And now I have my new carving notebook. If I click new note, it will open up a new note in carving. And if I had many notebooks, I would click all notebooks and I could see all my notes. And that concludes part two.